designing of this carriage really is amazing. It's so hard to get a black this dark in crushed velvet. It can skew gray a lot of times because of the texture. Sorry that your costume's practically sticking to it. That's just the downside to this kind of fabric. Lots of static. I'm glad you were able to get your costume on by yourself. I try to sew outfits that don't require a whole team to assemble, but it can still be difficult sometimes. Oh, m my costume? I was just going for a generic ice snow frost theme. I thought it would complement your blazing bird costume. It was the best I could come up with under that time pressure. It was all worth it, though. I'm very excited to see all my hard work out there on the ballroom floor. People have been coming to me for months and months preparing for this masquerade. Even though it happens every year. <laughs> this is the first time I've had so many people seeking me out for their costumes in such numbers. I'd like to think that my work has spoken for itself, but... I try not to get my hopes up. In case it's not the same next year. I've done some of my best work for this masquerade, though. Not just clothing, but full structured accessories. Wings, horns, clawed gloves. Uh, I even made a headpiece that looked like an entire galaxy for one customer. I can't wait to see how they all look. Oh, have I reinforced everything properly? What if bits fall off? And then they'll pester me to fix things on the spot. Oh, and if that keeps happening, when am I going to just enjoy myself with you? Oh no, now I can't stop worrying about it. Huh? Ah, of course. I got carried away and forgot. My mask will hide my face. Hopefully no one will recognize me. That's a comfort. Oh, we're here. Okay, okay. I'm ready. Just, um, could you stay close to me? I, I don't know my way around. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> Thank you, yes. I'll take another drink. It pairs so well with the finger foods. I've cleaned my first plate already. I'm not sure if that's polite or not, but I couldn't help it. This is... Every bit as splendid as I imagined it to be. Huh? Yes, yeah. <laughs> that costume would be one of mine. That mask. Ah! That stiff material broke about four of my sturdy needles really put my calloused fingers to the test. But I got it finished in the end. Huh? Oh, no, no, no. That one is from a Pearlstone tailor for sure. I avoid fringe as much as I can, anyhow. Um, have I told you yet? You look very nice. Utterly striking. And not just because I was the one who sewed your costume. That's too pompous. It's not what I meant. Oh, all right. You're welcome. It was a pleasure to make it for you. It was even more of a pleasure to be asked here by you. I can't really tell you how fast my heart was pounding. I've admired you from afar for so long. It was like a dream come true when you smiled at me like that. You called me cute. <laughs> I won't lie, I replayed that smile over and over in my mind since it happened. But I don't have to anymore. Because you're smiling at me now. I can tell, since your mask doesn't cover your entire face. Your jawline and, <laughs> and your mouth look appealing enough on their own, but your whole face is so handsome. S sorry. My hands are cold. Yours feel warm. T too warm to be holding mine. Of course I'd love to dance. My blazing bird. I've... I've never learned this one. Can you teach me? 
All right. Just be patient with me. I didn't think I'd catch on to that so fast. <laughs> You're such a great teacher. Uh, yes, yes. I could use a break. It's been, what, four dances now? Whew. <laughs> yes, I'd love more of those finger sandwiches. Thank you. I'll just wait here if you don't mind. I need to regain myself. Pardon me. May I offer you a few sandwiches? Oh, thank you, sir. But my companion has just left to bring me some. So I don't think I should... <laughs> Your escort oh. surely won't begrudge you. This is merely a simple offering from a humble admirer. Uh, um... Admirer? Indeed. <laughs> if you insist... I do. The talented Woodbridge Taylor isn't used to dancing so much, and definitely needs to fill his empty stomach. Um, have we met before? Are you one of my customers? No, no, no. We have not. But I know who you are. I recognize your... Uh, Scent. Um, I don't understand what you... <laughs> Those lovely hands are a dead giveaway, too. Oh, excuse the forwardness. May I... Oh, um... Yes. Slender hands. Tight with strong sinew. Tough fingertips from the wear of your trade. Unmistakable amongst these pampered, lily-white softies. Uh, excuse me, Lord? Um, Lord? Lord Felix, at your service. Lord Felix, I'm not versed in noble customs, but is it common to cling to a stranger's hand like this? I'm not your typical noble. When I see something beautiful... I must admire it. I must touch it, or smell it, taste of it, or drink of it. Thank you? But, but I'm here with Lord- Yes, yes. I apologize. Honestly, I approached without any intention of flattering you so. Indeed, I have another purpose in mind. I am in need of your- Tailoring skills, if you have a moment. I... I knew there was someone here who would recognize who I was, and ask me to make repairs. Don't sound so gloomy, sweet little Monty. It's no major task. How'd you know my name was- I have very good hearing. It makes eavesdropping so easy. But a second set of ears would be ideal. You see, I'm supposed to be a wolf, but one of the ears fell off of my headdress. It's a very elaborate thing. Ah, but I also have this pelt about my shoulders. It's made my entire look uh, incomprehensive. Ah, yes, I was going to ask. That makes perfect sense. How did your tailor attach the ears then? I was led to believe that he was sewing them on, but I have a suspicion that he took a shortcut and stuck them on with glue. <laughs> glue? What respectable tailor uses glue in place of good, sturdy hand stitching? Especially for accessories like that. Hmm. I'm glad to see you understand my predicament. Will you come and repair it for me then? I was forced to stash it away in the cloak hall. Um, my escort might wonder where I am. Couldn't you bring it to me so I can tell him what's going on? Oh, I would, but if you were to sit and repair it out of the view of the ballroom like this, 
then everyone will know for sure who you are. Didn't you say you were dreading people knowing and hounding you with repairs? Oh, that's true. All right, I'll go with you then. Just let me tell my escort. He'll be here when you're finished. Don't worry, I won't keep you long. You can explain later. All right. I wonder how anyone can find their cloak. They keep the lighting so low in here. Agreed. I am having trouble locating my headdress. I'll have to search for it, I'm afraid. How embarrassing. That's all right. It'll be worth it once I fix it up for you. No wolf is complete without his ears. Speaking of which, I meant to ask you earlier. Where did you get those impressive fangs? I didn't even know anyone made a costume accessory that realistic. Usually, monster costumes require a full mask to have teeth or fangs. How did you get a pair of that affixes to your real teeth? <laughs> I can show you if you'd like. Come closer. Um, all right. I'm always looking to improve my craft, so I'll take a look. Oh, but I don't... I'm confused. How... <laughs> you poor, <laughs> naive <laughs> little thing. Lord Felix, what are you... Oh, I never tired of this part. The shock of betrayal, the rush of panic and primal fear. Oh, pure humans like you are the most satisfying to lure in. You're mad. Let me go. Mm. Let go. I've shaded that innocent trust with terror. So beautiful. Even through words I've heard repeated over and over and over again. Please stop. Let me go. You're a m monster? <laughs> to those words a thousand times more before I ever tire of them. Th those... those fangs! Your fangs are... real? Now, take a good look. They'll be sinking into your neck in a moment. N no! Stop! What the hell are you? You live in Woodbridge. So you might not have heard the reports of a strange creature of the night stalking the outskirts of Pearlstone and the highway between, assaulting those traveling alone, luring away the solitary drinker in a tavern or inn, draining their blood. Calm down. Sweet little Taylor, I'll be good to you, and keep it from hurting too badly, and then we'll all be over soon. Stop! Help! Stop! Help me! Don't fight it. Now that my tongue has bathed your neck, you won't feel anything but elation. Stop. Let mm. me. Those eyes are so much lovelier, staring blissfully into the middle distance. Yes, you're ready. Let's see how truly sweet the little tailor tastes. Ow. Mm. Mm. night. Keep biting me. You? I was feeding 
You cursed traitor. Give him back to me. Keep going. You. How dare a new blood like you attack a fellow Night Stalker? Your elder with silver. Do you have a death wish? Your blood is thin. I could rip your head from your shoulders before you'd even realize. Ah, curse you. Why are you risking your own life for this one weakling human? You've yet to place your mark upon him. So you have no claim to his blood. If you really wanted him all to yourself, you would have marked him long ago before bringing him out in public and flaunting him on your arm. Uh, your logic evades me, but it doesn't matter. You were too slow with your prey, and I've now tasted his blood first. Oh, it's delicious, but I wasn't going to drain him entirely, no. I promise I was going to leave you with something. You're not too high and mighty for leftovers, are you? New blood. <coughs> Uh, the very sight of that scepter pains my eyes. Curse you. <sighs> very well. I'll take my leave, but mark my words. This isn't the last you've heard of me. My neck! My neck! It, it was him. Lord Felix. He... 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 I can't calm down. He was a monster. He looked like a man, but... God! What... What was he? Where have you taken me? Your home? I need to go back to Woodbridge. My sisters will be worried and... What? You had no right to send messages to them on my behalf. But I guess I'm in no fit state to explain things to them. I... I can barely move. And showing up toppling over and covered in blood... Would probably worry them even more. Oh, hot tea. Thank you. Where, where are my clothes? Ah, uh, yes. I guess they were probably ruined. This bed feels very soft. My, my feet are warm. Did you put a bed warmer under the sheets? Thank you. Thank you for the bandaging, too. It, um, it didn't hurt when he bit me, but <laughs> it does now. Oh, okay, okay. I'll lay back. What's that? Oh, I had forgotten all about the face paint. It must have gotten all smudged. Okay, I'll let you clean it off for me. Now, can you answer me? What was he? What was Lord Felix, really? Vampire? I've never heard that word before. Um, are you a vampire too? He talked down to you so much, but it sounded like you were the same as him. I see. So were you just really playing with me too? Like he said. 
Are you going to drain my blood tonight? The way he did? What do you mean you don't know? What kind of answer is that? Yes, you did protect me. So I guess you can't have meant me too much harm. How did you do it? All I saw was a small scepter in your hands. I thought it was a costume accessory. Silver? How does silver keep a monster like that away? Are you sensitive to it too? Oh god, this all... crazy. It's too much. Monsters aren't real. Monsters who look like regular men? That's even more frightening. What he did to me, it was so wrong. I didn't want it, but somehow you made me... Uh, I've never felt so content and peaceful in my life before. His saliva? Oh no. I'm... I'm going to be sick. It's like something out of a nightmare. He said something about you. Needing to... mark me? Like... like he would have left me alone if you'd... Uh, I don't know... staked your claim? Is that all I am to you? A prey animal? I want to believe you, but I'm struggling to believe any of this. Show me your teeth. You're saying that you didn't mean to hurt me, and that you're not the same type of monster that he is, so show me your teeth. You have fangs. Just like him. How did I not see them before? You really are... deadly. What? Oh, um, yes. I do carry a pocket knife. No, that doesn't mean I'm going to kill anyone. What does that have to do with any of... Oh, I see. So your fangs are the same as me carrying my knife around, huh? So, you really are one of those... those... vampires. But you don't feed on people? Only willing people. Are there even such people out there? Or were you hoping I'd be one of them? I I'm so confused. Mostly because... You, you don't seem to know how to answer half my questions. You act like you barely know what's going on more than I do. <sighs> now that I think about it, Felix did call you a new blood. Does that mean that you haven't been like this very long? I see. Huh. What's sunlight got to do with anything? Oh, so that's why you can still go around during the day. You haven't drunk from enough people, huh? Wait, so the more people you, um, drink from, the more sensitive to sunlight you become? I see. So that's why most dangerous vampires are fully creatures of the night. <laughs> this feels insane to even speak about. How many people's blood do you have to drink to become, you know, not a new blood? Only five? Why does that number feel so brutal? I know it's horrible to drain only one person, but 
Only five people? To banish you to a life of darkness? I suppose it's fitting for a monster. But then... How... How many have you... <gasps> That's... That's still one too many. I, I almost idolized you, you know? I looked up to you so much. I, I favored you. Now? I, I don't know what to think. Um, yes. Perhaps I can trust you enough to sleep here tonight. As frightening as all this is... You could have killed me by now if you really wanted to. And I'm so tired after what Lord Felix did to me. Do you really promise to protect me? If Felix is a true creature of the night, won't he be able to... Oh, okay. And if you say so... Maybe I'm just delirious from so much blood loss, but for some reason, I believe you. <sighs> I can't think about it anymore. I'm so tired. I just need to sleep. I have no idea what to make of you anymore, but you saved me. Your hand feels so nice in my hair. Your, your voice is filled with sorrow. Those eyes seem so sincere. I hope that trusting you isn't a mistake.